Hello. It's me. Uh, uh, hello. It's me. Let me just make sure. Things are working, I think. It's a very good chance that they just kind of aren't. No? Everything is fine. Huzzah. Look at that. Look at me go. Uh, they sure do be. I'll say, uh, w welcome in, everybody. Um, we're, we're putting motorbikes in the game. Technically, in my home game, they're already a thing. Um, because this class is kind of already a thing, but I kind of want to take a second pass at it and translate what I have into something a, a bit more cohesive and also, like also make it fit the version of Artificer that the game has, as opposed to the one that I have, which is largely very similar, just with more nonsense. Um, I, I can say that about everything in my home game. It's the same as the base game, just with more nonsense. Oh, right. Let me go... So this is the mechanic. Um, pretty much defined by... Um, you have something called your arcane ride, which is uh, my favorite thing, my, my, my favorite description of anything. I think it's wonderful. Um, let me just... Uh, Okay, so I, I kind of want to, like, toy with my, um, nope, that's, uh, I need to set this to two columns, because otherwise I will have a breakdown. So, bored of blistered feet in horse-drawn carriages, the artificers of the mechanic specialization seek to create something entirely new, an auto, a transportation machine. A breakthrough in your science has allowed you to craft an arcane ride, allowing you to travel at distances and speed thought, th speeds thought impossible before. So basically, the idea is you're fast, and you yourself are not fast, your arcane ride is fast. Um, and it needs to kind of work like... Um, like mounted combat, even though mounted combat in the game is real whack. Um, it's it's real weird. Nice, nice. I say welcome in. Oh, okay. Right, where is? Let's tilt this down just a bit. There we go. So um, let me let me go and like grab the art that we have for this. I'm not going to put it on the screen because it doesn't have like transparency like the the the, the fancy one that we had for um, um but this is this is this is like um, commissioned art for this project and I I think it's I think it's just wonderful. It's it, it has a very very specific energy to it and I I very much like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up here and make sure it takes up all a, a, an obscene amount of space. There we go. Look at her. She's zooming. Maximum speed. Okay. So, first thing to do is to translate the spell list that I already have. Because I had some ideas on, like... But it, it includes a lot of my homebrew spells. So it's going to involve... Um, uh, but, but I need to look at how they... Um, mechanic spells. Oh, why is it... Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, um, I really don't like the layout of the way um, Artificer is laid. I think that's one of the main things I didn't like about the Artificer when I first looked at it, is that it's um, laid out very weirdly. Just the way that it works is very strange. Um, okay, right. Artificer level spells. Oh, let me just 
just uh, do that and this. And... Now, oh, shit, I need to. Okay, right. So third, fifth, ninth, thirteenth, seventeenth. She is rolling around at the speed of sound. She's got places to go. She's going to follow her rainbow. Um, and then, you know, the like, cue the rest of es es Escape to the City, because, um... I, I don't know. I'm not exactly going to play it, am I? Uh, Twitch, Twitch ain't going to like that. But, um, spells-wise, I gave them Burning Hands, because it's kind of like the, you know, you know the... Um... You, you know, when you, whenever you activate the boost function, that's that's what that's what Burning Hands is. Uh, Long Strider feels very appropriate. Um, the second level spells were all things that I they're all my uh, homebrew spells, so I have to come up with some new ones. Blink and Haste, so you know this subclass is good. Um, Say, so, hey, well, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, there's one of my spells, uh, Stone Skin, and then Pass Wall, and then another one of my spells. I'm not sure what these are going to be. I'm probably going to come back to them later. I think it's probably the best way to go about things. All of the Artificer subclasses come with Tools of the Trade. Um, I'm just copying this from, like, the doc that I have. You can proficiency in one type of vehicle of your choice. Oh, yeah, of course, you get, you get a vehicle proficiency, because of course you fucking do. Um, you also gain proficiency with Tinker's tools. If you already have this tool proficiency, you gain proficiency in one, uh, in one type of art, art, artisan's tools of your choice. Makes sense. You get, you get, you get Tinker's tools. Now, the main thing is statting the arcane ride. Um, that's, that's the main thing that, in my original version of the class, I really feel like I just failed to do. I think the stats are weird and kind of confusing. It's... I, I almost feel as though the arcane ride just shouldn't have stats. Like, I feel like you should be able to... I'm thinking, like, you you fold out... Um, you, 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 you know, you sort of almost summon your arcane right. Or maybe not summon it, but, like, assemble it. Um, and then once you're on your arcane ride, you're just on, you're just on it. Oh, yeah, the art is great. Um, so the, um, I'll zoom in so you can see the artist credit. Uh, this is commissioned art for the for the project. Um, uh, Peter V, I believe. I say I um, I was not in much contact with the artist. Um, I was. Um, uh, hang on, I will I will I will go look. Um, I say um, I say AJ has done some 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 art for this book as well. It's, um, some some um, some very nifty stuff. I, I believe I have found them on Twitter. I will, I will, I will put their put uh, this individual's, uh, this uh, this dude's Twitter in here. Um, because this is it's it's hyper stylized in a way that I really really like. It's like I, I would be able to pick pick this dude's R L if I saw it, which I think is really cool. I said there's 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 a lot of like, like I think I think um that's that's a lot of like. That's like the the generic critique of digital art as a medium is like, oh, it all looks the same or whatever, but um, which, you know, uh, no, it is another type of artificer, sadly. Okay. 
So, Arcane Ride. I think my, my initial desire was to have the Arcane Ride be a thing with stats. Like the, um, the Hell Machines, or whatever the fuck they're called, from Descent into Avernus. Which, I think in hindsight, was a mistake. I'm not... Hmm... See, I'm, I'm sort of. Uh, th this is this is gonna be a longer stream than usual, by the way. Normally, this stream would end. It's like a two-hour stream. Obviously, I started a little later today, but um, normally I'd be finishing at um, seven o'clock. But um, the um, uh, train of thought. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Lost my train of thought completely. It's fucking gone. What was I even saying? Oh right. <laughs> um, normally, I will end. I would end at about at about seven o'clock. But the the D and D game I'd be going to immediately after the stream is not on this week, so I'm basically just going to go until I'm done, uh, and then stick around for a little bit longer. Maybe you know, if 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 this takes way less time than I think it's going to, I might dick around for a little bit and then, uh, or or work on something else entirely and then and then go. But I think realistically, I'm going to work on this until it is done. Um, that is that is the aim anyway so there are multiple different avenues we can go down i should think so yeah um i will be probably taking a break at around between six and half six to go eat food but i will be all of 10 minutes um so let me like So I'm going to read off the text for the Arcane Ride. Um, I'm not going to read out like its stats, because its stats are just kind of complicated. But, um... It's, um, you, um... You have entered a brilliant motion machine, an Arcane Ride. Your Arcane Ride is a magical vehicle with the following statistics. It's, it's like a large or medium vehicle uh, it can, it can, depending on its size, it can carry different creatures. It can carry a hundred pounds of cargo. It has, um, it, it has um, pretty high, like armor class um, that is reduced when it's not moving. Um, it has hit points equal to five times your artif artificer level, um, and a damage threshold equal to your artificer level. So if you take if so, if it takes less damage than your artificer level, it takes none. That's how that's how damage thresholds work in fifth edition. Is if you have a damage threshold of ten and you take nine damage, you just take no damage. Um, has a speed of thirty feet, has a strength of fourteen, a dex of eighteen, and a con of twelve. Con it's immune to poison and psychic for obvious reasons. It doesn't have blood and it doesn't have a mind because it's literally a machine. Um, like, it doesn't have mental scores, because it doesn't have a mind. Um, and it can't be blinded, charmed, deafened, frightened, whatever, like... Um... Oh. Yeah, I think I think the main thing is that it's very like confusing. In the way that it works. So I kind of want to like rejig what I've got and go in and make something a little more intuitive. Obviously like Artificer is very much like a you should not, probably not be playing this class if you don't know the game at least relatively well. Like, that is kind of, like, the idea. 
Um, oh, this is very loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Oh, he's always putting more stuff on this playlist. There's, there's new shit on here. As of two days ago, in fact. It's been a long fucking time since I've heard anything new on this album. It's a nice change of pace. It is very loud, though. But, um... I think, I think the main thing here is striking a balance in design between intuitive and sensible. So, the intuitive aspect is something that it is easy to understand and easy to use, but it needs to be sensible in that it logically can do the things you would expect a motorcycle to be able to do. It doesn't, like, have a bunch of, like, caveats to stop you from doing very specific things, or awkwardly doesn't work in a way you would obviously want it to. Greetings. Say, so, well, welcome in. Um, sets, I mean, you, like, I would allow somebody to do that, but that's not hard baked into the rules. I remember um, Joe being here when I was. Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah, now want to fall off 100%. I remember Joe being here when I was initially like designing this this subclass like a long time ago. Um, and just the the vague the vague tinge of why are you doing this? Why? Why? It was it was very amusing. Hmm. Part of me thinks it should have stats, and part of me thinks it shouldn't. That's the problem. I mean, of course. Yes. What are the fuck? What the fuck are the motorcycles called in Yu-Gi-Oh! Five D? Are they called, like, dual cycles? Arc cycles or something? They have, they have a very specific name that is Yu-Gi-Oh. So, welcome in, welcome in. Dual ru that's it, dual runners. Oh. So. Basically, we have two approaches here, is my original approach is stat the vehicle. Like, give the vehicle vehicle stats, like the war machines or the hell machines, or whatever the fuck they're called, um, from um, Descent into Avernus, or sort of extrapolate it out a little bit and have it be something more abstract. The only problem being is the... Um, um, no, I'm, I, the, they're from Descent into Avernus, the, the, the war machines, not the, not like the, um, Battlesmith Steel Defenders. Um, hell, hell. There's the motorcycle is called the Devil's Ride. That much I, I'm very much based the stats of this thing off of the Devil's Ride. Um, from Descent into Avernus. Um, not really. Um, I mean, certainly the Devil's Ride didn't know. Um, it's the ship combat from Ghosts of Saltmarsh that is kind of just awful. Um, having attempted to run it on more than one occasions in another game, man, the ship combat from Ghost of Saltmarsh just fucking sucks. It, it, it was really, really terrible. Um, it's so half-baked. Um, but, um, now yeah, say the, um, the, the, the war machines, whatever the fuck they're called from Descent into Avernus, 
like the original version of this subclass was based heavily on the Devil's Ride from that. Had a lot of like the fluff taken off of it and just sort of, you know, turned down to like its its like most basic components, but it just kind of worked. Um, I think I'm going to put Your, your ride is a large or medium object. Object. You know, you know what? I th I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it some kind of like we're gonna extrapolate things a little bit. Me thinks. Um, no, it doesn't. Um, it, it can be like a big horse, like a big mecha horse or something. There's going to be a little sidebar in there on. Uh, oh, 100%. Like, basically, any 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 vehicle that... Um, I mean, a scooter is just like a motorcycle, right? Um, unless you're referring to literally like... Um, no, no they, they, they... Sadly, they can't be Heelys. Um... Um, that it has to be like a physical thing. Then again, that I think I think you know what actually. Fuck it. Let's um. As an action on your turn, you may assemble your arcane ride. Like, realistically, your arcane ride could, could, like, just, just, just be, like, rocket boots. Like, I think, I think with this version, if, if it was just fucking rocket boots, if you, if you had fucking Shadow the Hedgehog's shoes. Oh, hang on, let's see who gets it first. Ha, I got it first. I banned the spam bar, hooray. Um, which takes whatever f you can, you may assemble, you may, you may form your arcane ride. You can take the dash action as a bonus action. See, I'm thinking we can kind of extrapolate this out from just being like, lol, you have a motorcycle, or like a mecha horse or whatever, and just be like, it's anything you want. I, th I think I think my, my initial aim was like, oh, it's artificer, it's got to be super like technical and complicated, and it's like, mm, not really. It, it, it can be... You know, I, I, th I think having this be a relatively simple ability with a lot of flavor underpinning it, honestly, is probably better. I, th I, think, I think it's probably probably just a better idea overall. Oh, I need to clear my throat. 
No. Okay, right. So you can take the dash action as a bonus action. Like, what other benefits could this realistically give you? You can take the dash action as a bonus action. One level to artificers get features. That's probably something to look at as well. Uh, third, fifth, ninth, and fifteenth. Okay. So I'm just looking at some of the abilities that my one gets at later levels. Um, How does, how does slow fall, like, because this needs to be, like, distinctly worse than slow fall. Slow fall is a reaction. Oh, five times your my yeah, like. Like, three times your artificer level. Uh, you gain advantage on save on ability checks and saving throws made against effects that would move you against your will. This feels very like, um, a lot of like, then again, dash as a bonus action is very good. Um, and is arguably one of the stronger abilities you can have in the game is just being able to dash as a bonus action. That's very, very strong. Um, triple jump distance is like, whatever. Um, falling damage reduction is niche, but cool. Um, and like, Advantage on checks of move you against your will is like, like you're harder to shove. Cool, <laughs> whatever. Um, your your arcane ride really needs to have like some kind of like flavorful. I. Hmm. I feel like at fifth level you should be able to start customizing your ride. You know, you can you can you can pimp your ride, so to speak. Um, but um, it needs to be like some you know some minor bits and pieces, nothing too ridiculous, but um, something that could be fun, something that could be cool. We could maybe include some custom infusions for for your ride, maybe. Um, no, I'm I'm not sure how like cool that would be. That could be just kind of stupid, so. I'll tell you something I really dislike about Artificer Scaling. It's the, the rate at which they gain infusions. 
why does it start at four and then you get four levels where you only have four of them and then it suddenly jumps to six why does it jump up in twos why does it do that why not just go four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten and all the way up to twelve it'd be the exact same it would just be nicer be smooth as you feel like you're actually progressing instead of just like oh here's two infusions fuck you um, oh, sorry, we forgot to give you infusions earlier on. Here's some more ones. It's just, oh, it annoys me. There's lots of little things like that with Artificer that just make, they just annoy me. Um, one of the main things being that you, you know, like, a million infusions and you can barely do any of them. It's not until, like, sixth level that you can have even three of them active at once, which is, like... But, um... Either way. Oh. Scratch on my lip. So... You may assemble and uh, disassembles one of you fall prone. Disassembles one of you fall prone or become incapacitated. You may also take one of these actions as a part of your bonus action to form your ride. Okay, that's cool. I like that. You just straight up just get faster. Yeah, I feel like this this is a bunch of like little minor abilities, but like together, I think they're probably all really strong. You're just not getting any bonuses to your damage, your like high mobility kind of situation. I think once you get to fifth, you should start getting like, you know, upgrades to your to your ride in like some like one way or another. However, however, however that works. I think I think I think that's potentially really cool. Oh, very itchy eye. Ugh. Ugh. Um, hmm. Horrible ringing in my ear. That is very unpleasant. Oh. Oh, that fixed it actually. I cleared my ear and that solved the problem. I know what to do. Um, God, I'm trying to look for like car vernacular, you know.
uh, increased speed, dashing and disengaging, um, and yeah, say so as as of right now, that 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 is that is kind of the the idea anyway. Um, say so once once you get to fifth, I think is the idea. You're gonna get like your um, your ride gets like a whole bunch of nonsense. I'm just looking for like words to. Do. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stop digging around looking for like words to describe what I'm trying to get out. But um, at fifth level, your um, you can employ um, tweaks and customization your arcane ride, specializing it for any occasion. May spend two hours and fifty gold pieces worth of materials to choose. <coughs> you may spend two hours of work with your arcane ride and and a set of tinker's tools to modify your arcane ride with. Up to two of the following benefits. Oh. Sorry about that. Was... Knuckles are all stiff for a second there. Modify your arcane ride. I need to go read, um, I need to go read something for, like, the exact wording of how I want to go about phrasing this. Um... Give me a second, I'm still trying to find the thing I'm looking for. This is actually important, so I, I need to, like, find this as, uh... Um... Oh, I know. Can ride, cannot gain the benefits benefits of the same trait more than once. The number of traits your uh, ride can, uh, can have increases as you gain artificer levels, increasing by one at tenth, fourteenth, and eighteenth level. Wait, no, that, that's the wrong scaling. Um, and then by two at 11th and 15th level. There we go. During a long rest, you may choose one or more of the traits gained with this feature and spend one hour with your arcane okay, right. Slap a comma in there. Spending one with your arcane ride and a set of Tinker's tools. Expending 25 gold pieces for each chosen trait. For each of those traits, replace it with a different.
Okay, right. That is what we're going with. Um, this is kind of the framework, and then we build the abilities inside. Um, so now we can come up with a bunch of um, mechanic mumbo jumbo and put it in here because that's that sounds fun as hell. Um, so th this this is the kind of shit that I love, by the way, is um, variable choice. So uh, the the it, this is this is the kind of decision making. I can feel I'm on a roll now because I'm like I love this. This is awesome. Um, my favorite kind of design is when you have fuckloads of choices, but in the moment, during the middle of combat, your choices are, like, more specific. So, nobody ever gets overwhelmed in combat, out of combat, as you sit and ruminate and go, hmm, what do I want to do? Do I want to change out this ability? Is that going to be useful? But it doesn't bog down combat with people sitting there going, um, um, staring at a sheet with, like, 30 abilities on it. I think, I think this is probably, like, this kind of ability. I absolutely love it. And I've, I've yoinked it from another homebrew I'm working on with, with Mindslot, uh, amusingly enough. The, the same kind of framework, anyway. This, um, you know, getting two benefits and being able to swap them out for, for, for more ones. Um, um, grav, magnets... Um, um, let me just uh, check spider stats. This is this is spider climb. This is what what this gives you. So yeah, you, you you put grav magnets on your uh, on your mecha horse or something, and you start running along the walls in your mecha horse or whatever, or you get your rocket boots or your rocket heelys, um, and you know blast off. Uh, you know you're in you're in like a sewer tunnel, so it's a big pipe. And you just kind of zoom around in a circle down the thing. Um, I mean, I mean, we have to put a boost functionality in here. Like, we have to. Oh my god, I know how it works, too. <laughs> okay, um... So I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun now. This is, this is stupid, and I love it. Spell Nitro. If you take the dash action whilst your arcane ride is formed, you may expend a spell slot. Or, I, I, I would just put like, at any point on your turn. Or once on each of your turns. You may expend a spell slot. Till the end of your turn, your speed your speed increases by an amount equal to ten times the Yes, this is good. This this is this is good. I'm all, um, <laughs> this is so good. Um, whilst your arcane ride is formed, you can move across difficult surf uh, 
difficult surfaces, including upside down on ceilings, as if they were solid ground without making any check. Hell yes, this is amazing. I love this so much. This is wonderful. Um, so how many of these do you end up getting? You end up getting six of them, so there needs to be probably a, a, a bare minimum, absolute bare minimum, there needs to be eight of these, right? Um, God, this, oh, I, love, I love this so much. If anybody has any ideas, do, do suggest dumb shit. Uh, your arcane ride can do like the dumber the better. This is the whole point like if 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 you want like we have gravity magnets and uh, Putting nitrous in your mech horse or your motorcycle or your rocket heelys or whatever um, Which is oh, I, I just I love it. I love it so much. Hmm I don't know what hydraulics would do for you, but I think it's the thing. Like, uh, as, as, aside, aside from being one of those big, um, big, um, I don't even know how to describe them, the, like, the, uh, like, 50s, 60s, 70s cars, I have no idea what era they're from. Um, they're big, you know, where they bounce on the front wheels. Aside from doing that, I can't. I, I, I don't know what specifically hydraulics would do for you. I feel like um... <laughs> you just you just play. Um, I don't know. Highway to Hell, probably. Just really loudly. That's the only benefit it gives you. Is you 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 can pick one road themed song, one driving themed song. Um, and then just plays that and you go, oh, what is it, the, um, oh, we can play Life as a Highway, that's a good one. Um, I always play Danger Zone as well, it's like Highway to the Danger Zone. Um, I mean, if you multi barred with this, that is 100% um, what, what, it, what it does. If you have a mecha horse, it can be like, a, you, can, you can play Born on a Horse. Um, oh my god, you can play like a like a horse girl engineer with this. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cursed. Also, something, something I've noticed... Oh, actually, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. When your arcane ride is formed, it just stays formed, so... <laughs> You could be you, you you could say, okay, right. As a bonus action I, I, I form my arcane ride on my next turn I wild shape into a horse. Now I'm a horse with rocket shoes. Which or rocket hooves, I guess. Which is oh that's that's awful. I love it. It's oh it's the the worst thing ever and I I I absolutely love it. It's <laughs> so stupid. Um, uh, they can have uh, m uh, micro missiles. Um,
you may have the arcane ride fire of three homing darts of arcane energy. Uh, you may direct the darts all at one creature or at s failure a creature suffers micro missiles this seems very funny I'm not sure how good it is like necessarily but it's funny you shoot three missiles. I mean, it's it's like a crappier magic missile as a bonus action, which, and it's not a spell, so I think it's it's free damage. So I think, like, ultimately, it's pretty good. Like, an assumption can be that, like, you know, one creature is probably going to succeed every turn. That's still an extra five damage, like on average, every single turn, which is really not bad, like at all. Um, so yeah, I, I like the micro missiles. Um, I, I absolutely love spell nitro and, and grab mag grab grab magnets. There we go. Is is kind of neat. Let's take a look at the other hell engines. Or I could I genuinely I'm like I just I do not know what the fuck they're called. I know I know one of them is called the Devil's Ride, like the motorcycle one. Right. Let's let's take that. Are they called? Infernal War Machines. There we go. There's the Devil's Ride, the Tormentor, the Demon Grinder, and the Scavenger. The Scavenger is like a three-wheeled creep like thing. It's crushing wheels. What does Demon Grinder do? It has crushing wheels, it has a chomper, it has a wrecking ball, and harpoon flingers. The Tormentor. I think I'll also put like crew capacity. moves wherever you move. Uh, except to use, except to dismount.
which costs half its movement. Whenever your ride takes the... or whenever you take the disengage action... Also gains the benefits of that action. following benefits, something, something, something. Moves wherever you move and cannot move otherwise, except to dismount, which costs us. Um, your ride, which costs, um, except for move. Which costs half its movement. This is, this is a very, like, messy ability, because th this is kind of the issue with, like, extrapolating this a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, so, no, I'm, I'm, have, I'm having a good time currently, um... Currently statting magic motorcycles. It's a good time. Failed amount of creature automatically fails. Uh... Oh, that's something. Um... <laughs> that's 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 the goal. That's the goal.
if you were at full prone. Okay, yeah, I think that's a very messy ability, but I, I think I've covered all the bases. Uh, we're, up, we're up to four at the moment. Um... Need four. Need preferably at least like four more. So crew capacity, grav magnets, micro missiles, spell nitro. Artillerist is my favorite of the four ones uh, in base artificer. Um, but uh, uh, armor is is okay. I, d I don't like the flavor of having like an Iron Man suit. Uh, I much prefer the idea of like here is my mech suit instead. Um, it feels a bit more m messy and a bit less like streamlined, which I think is more in flavor. Yeah. I mean, it, even even more mech-like than that. I'm thinking more diva than um, than power armor, more than anything else. That'd certainly be how I would flavor it, anyway. Uh, b -b -b I should think so, yeah. I had an idea. Fuck, what was it? I, mean, I, I gotta put an oil slick in this thing. That space is... Type of area of the substance. Leave behind a five foot area of this liquid. Fill in the closest space on the ground below it. Hmm. 
enters an area covered by the substance. I'm not like super sold on that idea, but um, I'm sold on it conceptually, where I think mechanically it's kind of weird. But um, I think I think I think it's potentially kind of neat anyway. Something I should look into is like some Mad Max stuff. Yeah, more or less. Um, I should probably look into like some Mad Max stuff, which is probably a pretty pretty reasonable idea. So either way. Um, I am going to go and take a break here. I'm probably going to look into some Mad Max stuff whilst I'm gone, actually. Just some, like, what kind of Mad Max weapons are there? Um, because uh, I'm, I'm going to take a break. I'll probably do about five, ten minutes. I'm going to grab some eight because I'm really hungry. It's like 6 day. Um, I will be back and we're going to finish this off um, over the next sort of hour or so. But yeah, I'll um, see you guys in a few minutes.
Greetings. I return from the Hell Realm, Hell Realm to which I return whenever I'm not streaming. So I've returned from the... whatever. It doesn't make any sense, but you're going to pretend that it does. Um, or else. Okay. Right. We're going to carry on. That's the plan, anyway. Yes. I, 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 I drove my dual runner directly into the Shadow Realm. How many of these bad boys do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five of these bad boys. We need at least three more of these bad boys. So we have crew capacity, grav magnets, micro missiles. Uh, oil slicks and spell nitro. Hmm. So I'm thinking maybe like um I feel like we have like weapons on this thing enough. We've got like a boost. We have something defensive, I feel. shield Gain a plus two bonus to your AC and to uh, dexterity saving throws. This is definitely very strong. Like, localized shield is, is exceedingly good. My shield is extremely good. So half your artificer level is obviously not a lot. Ugh. Let's turn 
this over a little bit. Oh. Okay, right, there we go. Hmm. So you get this at fifth, you'll get like two temporary hit points, which is like nothing. So in mod at fifth level is probably going to be like 18 for for like your average character. It's probably probably going to be sitting at 18 around this level. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. Now this is really strong. Okay, yeah, 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 that works. Um, So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more minimum. Preferably, like, like have like nine of them. I just came up with a potential idea, I just need a name for it.
You can move through the spaces of other creatures and also gain the benefits of the dash action. So you can kind of like bob and weave through everybody. Kind of, um, kind of. It, it like enhances your mobility in a very like specific way. You can kind of disengage. Yeah, it sort of gives you, you know, speed, speed and agility, and lets you bob and weave through the through a fight very, very easily. In a way, I think it's kind of creative. Hmm. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, thank you very much for following as well. So I'm up I'm to 90 now. I'm getting, getting, getting close to the to the 100 mark. Oh, my bloody ad is in the way, isn't it? Let's just move this down here. There we go. Phil will have to present more directly. I think I need I need at least like one more of these. It's a lot more difficult to come up with like abilities for a vehicle. Um, artificer on a motorcycle or, or any or any particular vehicle. Uh, it could be a like a mech horse, some rocket rocket heelys if you really want. Like you can do whatever you want really. That's kind of the idea, anyways. We're currently at the fifth level feature where you can sort of mix and match like bonuses to your um, to like the overall thing or the overall like uh, like arcane vehicle that you get. I've got seven and I need at least eight, preferably nine or ten. So I don't want it to have that situation where like you know by the time you're whatever earth level you've got 15 of these um yeah uh, that, 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 that's that's always a good time oh i'm very tired that is a universal constant these days. Uh, yes, the ride itself lets you dash and disengage as a bonus action, and also just flatly increases your speed. Okay, no, I, I just I just had a stroke of genius. Maybe. Uh, I kind of already have that. There's um or well something like that. You can um you can spend spell slots to boost your your speed for 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 the turn. So if you're you know um you're a seventeenth level artificer, you're like okay, I really need to move like really far this turn okay use my spell nitro
So this feels really minor, but it very much isn't. <laughs> you just, um, if you chain this together enough times, you can just, like, drift your way around, um... Yeah. So that's a it's a fun time. Mm-hmm. Well that's eight. That's sort of my minimum. That's the idea, yeah. You, like, drift around them. Though, if you have a horse, combat drifting on a horse sounds pretty amazing, actually. Well, I'd, no, I'd, I'd drift a horse. It sounds, it sounds like a good time. Hmm... Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. He's got Heelys on. Oh. Okay. I, I, I want to I aim for, like, one more or so. But it, I'm not going to force it. Like, if I don't think of a, of a, of a ninth idea, then I don't. But, um... Um... But I want to try and aim for it. Uh, currently not. No, that's probably a good idea, actually. I like that. Um... Ram... Oh, oh. I mean, ramming speed. Um... First time you move at least 20 feet uh, toward a creature on your turn, you may attempt to ram into that creature. Or 20 feet in a straight line towards a creature on your turn. Oh, greetings to say welcome in. Uh, you may attempt to ram into that creature. Or, um... I think, I think maybe a little bit of both, like, oh, mm, I don't know, yeah, probably, probably, probably just shove, actually, maybe, maybe, yeah, um, you may attempt to ram into that creature. I attempt to shove the creature as part of the same movement. Uh, I think given that this is free, I think that's probably a bit much, but, um... Uh, if you choose to push a creature in this way, you may attempt to push that creature up to... Spell attack modifier rather than strength athletics as the modifier. Mm. 
me just go read um, the shove action. Yeah, I, I think that's cool. This this is this is this this has gone back to being very technical, but in like a in like a tidier way, which which I'm a fan of. I think this is cool. Um, so yeah, there are just two more things left to do. There is the eleventh level feature and the fifteenth level feature. Uh, there's also like picking spells for the class as a whole, or for the subclass even, because I've only got a few of them marked out. I just need to name this feature. I guess it would be um, mechanical tinkering. Because man, do I want to call it pin my ride? But um, that's uh, that's that's not gonna fly, you know. Hmm. I'm gonna turn this brightness down because I look like a ghost. Yes. Just just run them the fuck down. You the best part is you can do that. If you've disengaged beforehand and you successfully shove them prone, you can just go right over the top of them. So, 11th level... What does the older version of this class have? The 11th level feature is very boring. It doesn't really do anything particularly exciting. Whereas the 15th, fe uh, uh, the 15th level one is quite good fun. I need to go read something. Uh, I need to go read Storm Sorcery. No, Storm Sorcery doesn't get it. Well, I mean, multiing barbarian is uh, into a, a, two caster classes is certainly um, that's certainly something you can do. Like, there are no rules to say you can't do that, but you don't. <laughs> uh, b -b 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 Though barbarian druid is quite funny, mostly because wild shape. Right. Um, oh, oh no, maybe it's some um, aberrant mind that gets what I'm looking for. There we go, that's how they word it. It's a very stupid wording, but that is how they word it. Yeah, say so the, um, basically wild shape plus barbarian and or wild shape 
plus monk is quite good fun. Being able to do um, bear punching is uh, pretty fun. Um, the infusions don't cost you spell slots. You, you, you would just be sat on your spell slots and be very sad that you can't use them. Um, the infusions are, are separate. At least I don't, I'm fairly certain there are no infusions that care about you spending spell slots anyway. To my knowledge, there aren't. Yeah, so the UA Artificer is, um... Then again, then again, actually, there is spell-infused object, which is an 11th level feature, so it's not like you get it right away. Um, I'm pretty sure spell-storing item is... Yeah, it's one item. Never mind, it's 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 bad. <laughs> it's it's really bad. Um, oh. Oh. Now I need an 11th level feature because I feel like the lateral boosters is like more than enough. It's just like you have hover speed, like that's that's pretty good in and of itself. I don't think you really need anything else at this level. Maybe just like some generic speed buffs. Oh, I know, I know. Hmm. Arcane stunt, man. Arcane stunt. That just sounds funny. It's probably going to change the name because it's very stupid, but, um... At 11th level... Oh, yeah, yeah, I say, I'm... I'm... I'd love to do Barbarian Monk at some point. Do like a proper, like, um, really kind of like mix the flavors as best as I can and try and get something really interesting. I, th I think the problem is it's like the two, f for me at least, the, the turn off Sunny playing in base as opposed to my nonsense version of the game. It would be um, Barbarian and Monk are like the two least interesting classes in the game. And you combine them both together, doesn't really help either of them. <laughs> you can do some funny things though, like, you, you do a lot of damage as a Barbarian Monk. Problem is, you've got no incentive to, like, actually level Barbarian. Um, because why would you? Um, though, you, Strength Monk sounds pretty fun. Um, your AC is going to be very bad though. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you could do you could do strength monk, secondary and wisdom. Do monks really care that much about wisdom? Honestly, secondary and con is probably better. Basically, just playing a barbarian and just like shifting monk for abilities and punching stuff good. I'm trying to think what would be best. What would be the best? Um. um let me, let me let me go take a look at like what monk is the best monk. Oh, it's 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 Kensai. Of course it is. You can just choose a, a great sword as your Kensai weapon. Okay, right. Yeah, there's 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 Kensai. That's kind of stupid. Um what about Mercy? I feel like Mercy's probably got something stupid.
I mean, that's 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 the way to go. Monk 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 druid is 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 the real is the real like Chad option. Um, what's what barbarian is the best? It's, I mean, it's probably beast to my understanding. Be beast is. No, never mind. Beast beast is kind of trash actually. Wait, hang on. Is it any weapon you're proficient with as a monk weapon? Which are short swords and any simple melee weapons that don't have the two-handed or heavy property. So you can be a beast barbarian monk. Which does actually work really well. <laughs> Yeah. Simple melee weapons for you. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, okay, yeah. That's that's the way to go. Is you play Beast Barbarian and then, like, any monk and you're... Um... Yeah. I say I, I on stream a few months ago I reworked Monk to make it actually, you know, not, you know, walk up to a guy, punch him four times, and that's my turn. Um, so the, the the monk the monk actually like does something that isn't just punch a guy. Or punch a punch a guy three times or four times. Crazy. Like it actually does something other than that. Like it can still just punch a guy four times, but it has other things it can do as well. So I think Battle Rager is just inherently far too goofy to be something that anybody would actually want to play. I think I think that's the real problem there, is it wouldn't really matter if Battle Rager was actually good, because nobody would want to be a guy that's just like, hee hoo, look at me, I'm a porcupine. Hoo <laughs> hoo, hee hoo. It's, uh, it's, it's just very silly, I feel. Um... Um, let me go grab, because I'm thinking of giving them expertise, not expertise, evasion. He's coming to ramming speed and um
Oh right, okay. Um, no, I say you, you're it's not summon. You don't you don't just pull it out of thin air. Um. Again, a swimming speed with your walking speed and your arcane ride. Your arcane ride grants you an hour of air. There's an air pocket around itself that grants you an hour of air, or 30 minutes of air to you and the creature mounted on it. Uh, it. Presumably, it would just be hand waved, but you can use your arcane ride as much or as little as you want. Um, generally speaking, most people are going to use it all the time, um, but it's assumed to be, you know, like, some kind of object or device that you've fashioned. It's, it's, it's in the same way that you, um, the artillerist just sort of pulls the, um, the Eldred cannons out of their arse, um, somehow. Use the dragon allows you to make dexterity saving throw. I mean, the jump, the jump distance doesn't really matter now, I suppose, because you could just fucking fly, like, a few levels later, but I think I think having that there is not necessarily an issue. And then you also get evasion, which is, you know, kind of like the star of the show here. I grant you once formed increases to, um... I mean, that doesn't really need to be there. Um... Honestly? I'm I'm like super happy with how this has come out. I think I think this is I th I I I'm, I'd call this a win. Um, there is a lot going on here, but it is cool. So who cares? Oh, I need to clear my throat again. Fuck me. I don't have any water. That's probably the core of my problem here. Is not that much left? Probably can't even see, but. That's pretty much all of it gone. Yeah. Now we need to mark out some spells. I think that's probably the last thing we're going to do. I'm going for about two hours. Normally, like, I would I would have finished about 20 minutes ago because I'd have a game to go to today, but I do not today. It is not on. Um, so instead, uh, well, I'm still going, and I'm going to go until I'm done, and then sit and chat for a bit, probably, and then then head off. Now, if anybody has any spell recommendations to fill in these slots, do go ahead and suggest them, because I am stumped for spells. I'm going to start scanning through second level spells if I can find anything, but, um... Blur is maybe a good one. I might, I might, I might pin Blur as an option. I say I've I've have already got the the first level spells and they can also they can already dash as a bonus action. I've given them um 
Yeah, so they, they got they got burning heads and long strike. I need two second level spells, a fourth level, and a fifth level. Everything else I think is kind of set out at the moment. So far, Blur is looking like a strong option, and maybe Misty Step. Um, hmm. Thunderstep, that's not a bad option. That, that, actually, no, that's that's a good one. I I'll, I'll, I'll like... Wait, hang on, no. Thunderstep is a third, I think. Yeah, I'm fairly certain Thunderstep is a third. Um, let me just check. Yes, it is. Uh, as, as of right now, it is specifically, like, tethered to you. Other creatures can't ride it. Uh, uh, so, I'll pin Misty Step. That's probably a good one. So I pinned a couple second levels. Uh, let's take a look at thirds. Wait, no, not thirds, fourths. I'm not sure about the second levels I've pinned, but um, they work. Uh, fourth level spells. Fire shield is maybe a good one. Dimension door, that's that's potentially a good one as well. Yeah, yes, that kind of yeah, I'm gonna yeah, fuck fire shield, I'll um Yeah, Dim Dimension Door, that's hundred percent going on. That's a good idea. Uh Dimension Door. I'll start looking at fifths instead. It, the, these these are free spells, so it doesn't matter if if artificers already get it. Um, they learn it for free. It's not like the expanded spell list for warlock. Um, they get they get these spells for free. So it's only warlock, which is really awkward. We go, oh, this is perfect, and you go, wait, or, or, warlocks already get this, and you get annoyed, which I've, is an experience I've had many times with expand with the expanded spell list for warlocks. Yeah, it really annoys me. It sh it sh they should just get the spells for free. They, you know, like, you know, give them one spell of each level, first to fifth, and just give it to them for free. Uh, no, no, you don't. They just add it to the spell list. Um. Yeah, no, yeah, they, they, they just, like, you just can pick them. They're spells that aren't on the Warlock spell list that you, as a Fiend or Archfey or Celestial or whatever, can pick. Um... Far Step? Hmm... I'll pin Far Step, that's maybe a good one. Not hundred percent on it, but it could be good. Um, now see so the 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 warlock ones. You you don't get them. They're just on the spell list. You just can pick them. They don't, they don't need up spells known. They're just options. Like, um, 
every, every other, like, like, subclass spell list in the game gives them to you for free, but the Warlock one only gives them... Like, it, it, it doesn't force you to pick the spells. You just can pick them. If I remember correctly, the Celestial list is quite good. Um, Cure Wounds is good. Guiding Bolt, less good. Scales nicely. Flaming Sphere is pretty bad. Less Restoration is alright. Daylight is whatever. River of Fire is River of Fire, so of course it's good. Guardian of Faith is... I don't think it's Scales, so it's a bad Warlock spell. I mean, it's a fourth level, so it's not that bad, but even so. Uh, Wall of Fire is fine. Flame Strike is obviously trash, and Greater Restoration is, is alright. But yeah, the, 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 war the Warlock expanded spell list is not, like, a problem. It doesn't, like... Uh, generally speaking, yeah. So yeah, the, um... The, the... I think I'm definitely gonna put Blur on here. On the fence about Misty Step. Yeah, I'm not sure about Mirror Image. I'm tempted to give them Steel Wind Strike, which sounds... funny. No, actually, fuck it. Like, I I'm actually gonna do that. That's that's really funny. And I think I'm going to then... You know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's give him Misty Step. Let's give him good spells. Look at this lineup. Misty Step, Blink, Haste, Blur, Dimension Door, Steel Wind Strike. This is a fucking spell list right here. Um, I think if Warlock's got access to more spells, um, I wouldn't have so much of a problem with uh, with the expanded spell list. I don't think it's like inherently a bad thing, but I much prefer getting like one free spell than getting like a couple spells you can. So certainly, certainly in my home game that is how it works, whereas in base it gives you two new spells you can have if you want. Um, but um Yeah, say so like I I think I think I think it's like it's a very weird like diversion from the trend with all of the other classes. It's like here, here is two spells of first to fifth level um, for free. Like, you know, Mechanic gets Burning Hands and Longstrider for free. Um, whereas, you know, if you're a Warlock and you're a, I don't know, a Great Old One Warlock, for instance. That's a bad example. Let's pick a good Warlock subclass. If you're a Genie Warlock, for instance. No, that's a bad example because there's like a million of them. If you're a Fathomless Warlock, there we go. Um, you're like, if you want, you can take Create or Destroy Water or Thunder Wave. And it's like... You know, I kind of want Thunder Wave, but why not just give me Thunder Wave for free? Like, um, where's the downside in that? But, um... Yeah, I think that's the... I don't know. I certainly don't, I certainly don't hate it, that's for sure. I, I, but I, I prefer... Um... The, the... Here, here's a free spell, as opposed to... Here's two spells you might pick instead but um yeah I would say that's probably that obviously this is a first draft I'm gonna go through and look at this again in future yeah I can kind of see that okay so I'll, uh, see ya Thanks for, thanks for sticking around. Yeah, I say, I'm, I'm very happy with how this has come out. This is obviously a first draft. I'm going to, like, tinker with this in my own time and go back through later on down the lines. Yeah, so I, th I think I think realistically that's the problem with a lot of the free spells, is sometimes it just gives you trash. Um, 
but I, I I think there's it is it is fun sometimes when the free spells give give you like wild card spells you probably wouldn't have picked, but now that you have it you're like, I kind of want to use this, and I think I think that's fun, um, but yeah. Mm. I think I think the main thing is it's just like because of your specialization, you know, it leads you down this path to caring about this kind of spell. So you probably developed machinery. Um, I mean, yeah, basically, that's that's kind of like the. It's 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 sort of in the same vein of the kind of thing you're focusing on. So why not just you know have it. Um, Yeah, I like I, I'm very happy with how this has come out. I think it's really cool. I do I like on on like sort of now, now that this is this is kind of done. I'm kind of just gonna like vibe for you know 10, 15, 20 minutes or so, and uh, just kind of chat uh, because I don't really get to do this a whole hell of a lot. Um, I like I think I said this earlier on. I would normally have stopped half an hour ago because I normally have places to be, like a like a game to be at. And, and that goes for like pretty much all the time whenever I'm streaming. It's like I'm very specifically I'm here to do this thing, and then once I'm done, I'm gonna leave. Whereas right now, I think I think like just chatting about game design is good fun. I like the, the, these are the most enjoyable streams for me to do as long as I have like something I'm working towards. Um, because like playing a game every week for how many weeks gets does get tedious occasionally. Um. Like, especially playing Pokemon every week for like four hours, it's like that can get tedious. But, um, I think the, um, like doing, doing design stuff is always good fun. So yeah, the, um, where is the... Uh, basically wrote this subclass or redesigned it because I, I have it in my home game but I'm redesigning it for um, Dritz's travelogue of everything. I'm not sure if mine's not still, still here but if he is it's part of his wider project. Uh, basically it was just like redesigning this this class, this subclass from, from the ground up. Oh nice, is, is, it, the, is it the world tree or is it, uh, or is it something else? Yeah, say the um, I remember seeing like like hearing like the the concept for it or a lot of the concept talk for it. it sounds pretty sounds pretty cool. I think um, like on my list, um, I'm still sort of tossing around whether I'm doing a barbarian subclass for the Dritzes um, for the for for the for the Dritzes book. I'm not 100% on it yet. I need to come up with an idea. I'm super happy with. I do actually have one in my home game that I realized I had the other day, but I, I'm I'm not sure if like. It's a little too pushed to bring into um, uh, to to bring into this book because man, Dreadnought is insane. <laughs> and say so for the people here who play in my my home game, most of you have experienced uh, Dre Dreadnought f like firsthand, and uh, Dreadnought is pretty nuts. Um, but. Either way, I think the um, like making subclasses for the base game is genuinely really really fun, and I, I wish I had more opportunity to do it. Um, I like working on projects like this; it lets me just kind of dick around and come up with stupid ideas. I, I made a couple subclasses for other classes for a, an entirely separate project a few weeks ago, and man, like there was some cool stuff for for that. There's a range of subclass and a barbarian subclass in that. And uh, holy shit, it's <laughs> so cool. It's so much cool shit. Um, there, there, there is, there is a. Nice, nice. Say, so, um, um, I've met, I've, I say, aside from working on this, I've mostly just been like focusing on like, like hyper focusing on various projects. I haven't had much time to do like homebrew. Um, but I, I did make a subclass for like a like one of my one of my homebrew classes for my home game recently. 
um, a visage of zeal for the Invoker. I'm going to release the, the Invoker someday. It, it just needs more testing and needs more work. I've got a whole bunch of, like, home game classes that I really need to, like, um, like, need to start, like, chatting with, with AJ about, like, getting art done and, and putting them up, you know? Like, I really need, I really need to do it. Um, because, like, the more, the more, the more content, the better, like, and there's, you know, plug, you know, plug, plug my guild page, and, um, oh, well, plug my portfolio with all my crap in it. Um, yeah, that has, that has, like, my, like, all, all of my nonsense, like, uh, Angela's, which is my pride and joy, my, my, um, my, my, my wonderful little, little, um, little passion project and then, and then some other like bits and pieces like um the archive's got like a bunch of spells in it and and mixes which i wrote with joe and it is very funny um mi mi mixes is wonderfully funny it's very it's very stupid um it's, it's, it's all manner of nonsense um i should really put the inquisitor on here that's something i should really do in my own time but yeah, I think the, um, say what, um, because obviously I've been on a roll with, like, working on subclasses for, for, for Dritzes recently. Uh, artificer. I'm just saving, I'm just saving this, I hadn't saved yet. <laughs> It's, to be fair, like, worst comes to worst, if I'd lost everything, I could have just gone back and watched the VOD and recovered all of it, so it wouldn't have actually mattered that much, but, um, it would, it would have just been really annoying to get it all back. Uh, I'll, I'll go grab the thing I made over the last couple of weeks, give me a second. Um, I'm just trying to, like, look around the things on my desk that are blatantly obscuring my screen, of which there are more than one. I made this last week. Oh, you guys can't see it yet, can you? I need to, like, save this and then close it, maybe? And then... Hang on. Maybe? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it at all. That's sad. Um... There we go. Okay. It wasn't a fan of that. But yeah, I made I made the the emissary ranger last week. That was good fun. Um, for 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 the for the same project, it's all about like speaking and um, sending a message. Uh, whether that message be like, hey, look, the church is sending a message, or oh, I sent it, bringing a message from Jesus, or oh, yeah, here's a message from Saint Booger. It is the steel arrow tip driving directly between your eyes. It's all, all of them at once. Like it could very much be um, be all of them. And there's 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 some silly nonsense here, like um, uh, rangers getting healing word, which is whew, whew, it's, a, it's a spicy meter ball right there. Rangers getting holy weapon, which is maybe even better. Um, and then also being able to prepare cleric spells, which is, uh, which is even cooler. Um, yeah, you can send a holy message to creatures within 30 feet of you, do extra radiant damage. You can, um, your holy message can have different words in them that do various things. You can cast command as a bonus action every so often. It's all manner of silly nonsense. Uh, holy weapon, you just bless a weapon, yeah. Um, and it just works. Ho holy, ho holy weapon is obscene. Um, not to mention this ranger is encouraged to be a to be a melee ranger as well because uh, you need to be within thirty feet, so you can um, you can you can you can be a, a close ranger uh, or or a stranger, if you will. Um, you, you do all kinds of silly nonsense. Uh, what, what is Divine Preacher? Whenever a creature within 30 feet makes a saving throw, you may spend a use of your... 
Oh, you can give somebody a bonus to their saving throws, and your holy message does more damage. But yeah, em- em- Emissary was came out like a lot different to how I expected it to, but man, I, I think it's really cool. Uh, and I think the week before, I made the Fey Touched Sorceress Origin, which is also very silly. Um, hang on, let me let me like. It doesn't, it doesn't like me doing this. It really doesn't. Yeah, it is not a fan of me doing this. Wow. Let's do this. See if it likes it now. Man, it does not want me to show you this fucking Word document, like, Jesus. Let's try this, maybe. Oh, there we go. I just had to, like, okay, right. Good to know. But yeah, um... You just make plants. You just fucking, like, wave your hand and just some plants appear. Um, and the plants give, like, like heavily obscure the area that they're in. Which is really good. It's like, oh yeah, free, di- free, di- free disengage? Sure thing. Um, at higher levels, your buddies can see through the area as if it weren't heavily obscured, so it's free advantage, which is even better. Um, it, there's, there's, there's a lot of dumb stuff uh, going on there. A lot, a lot of very silly things. It's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. I'm, I, was, I was very much, um, very, very, very much a fan of how this came out. But uh, I think with that, I will probably look to see if there's anyone to raid. There is not. Never mind. We're not going to raid anyone. Um, but uh, say so I, uh, I am very busy this coming week. So normally I would stream like um, I'm playing Chrono Trigger at the moment. Normally I would stream that this Friday, but I have shit going on this Friday, so I can't. Um, so the next stream will be Pokemon stuff, I think, on Sunday, and then more of this on Monday, whatever that ends up being. Um, that's it's like, you know, regardless of what happens, I will always do D and D stuff on a Monday unless something comes up because this is like, this is like the most fun thing to stream, and I, I wish I had the time to do it more, but I just don't. Um, so it's like two hours a week I get to sit down and like. It usually is like, I'm going to build a subclass in two hours, uh, and that's usually what happens. Um, it's good fun. Uh, it's very good fun. But yeah, I say, the, um, I hope folks have enjoyed themselves. I'm going to go get myself a drink, because my throat's fucking killing me right now. And then I'm probably going to spend the rest of the evening, like, not really doing a whole hell of a lot. Probably playing Elite Dangerous or something, I don't know. But um, either way, uh, I hope folks have enjoyed themselves, and enjoy the rest of your evening, or what have you. I'm going to... I'm going to head out now, because I can feel my, my throat is screaming. Uh, so I'm going to go, like, deal with that. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> you get used to it. It's 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 jank as hell, but you, you get used to it. But yeah, same. See ya, folks. <laughs>